study performed in uh, the Amazon uh, in Bolivia of um, a people, a small people there who live in small villages and uh, what they did, was, what the researchers did was they wanted to look at uh, calcium scores in these people to see whether they had heart disease. And the reason why they wanted to do this, well one of the reasons was that um, there had been this Horus study which scanned um, uh, mummies uh, from Egypt and from Peru and they found that even 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago people already had uh, atherosclerotic disease. They had calcium in their coronary arteries. So they went out to do the same in this indigenous people who have a, a healthy lifestyle. So the methodology was that the, it, they included a bit more than 700 people and these all underwent um, a coronary scan to see how much calcium they had in their arteries and um, and they found uh, that they had very little uh, coronary um, artery calcium. And they also looked at their lifestyle and their cardiovascular risk factors and found that perhaps not surprisingly they were considerably healthier than us in those terms. They had less uh, dyslipidemia, less blood, uh, lower blood pressure, they were not obese, they had a uh, more, more physically active and smoked very little. So these were all good things. And, um, and then when they compare with similar studies done in, in the US, they can see that the amount of calcium, so if you translate that into a vascular age, they could see that a person down in, in this indigenous uh, people, with Simani people, a, a person 80 years there would, would be equivalent of uh, 50 years in the US. So they had a, a coronary artery age that was 30 years lower than the actual chronological age, which is, is very good. So what does this say about lifestyle and lifestyle in the West? Yeah, well, you have to be careful about drawing really hard conclusions, but you can say, because this is trans, trans, um, what do you call it, observational study, so, so you can, but you can see that these people have healthy lifestyles, they do, they're physically active, they, on average they walk 15,000 steps a day, and even up to the old age they do that, um, they, they gather all their own food, they are hunters and uh, horticulturists and, and, and so on, they do a lot of fishing, so they're active all day. Uh, and what they eat is what is the food they make themselves. So, uh, as I've mentioned, it's um, low in fat, uh, low in saturated fat, particularly. It's high in carbohydrates, but they're complex uh, carbohydrates. So, so that's very healthy and very low uh, smoking rates. So, but they also see that that it's not to the extreme. They're not. They are six percent that are obese, more than uh, a BMI of more than thirty, and the LDL levels were not very low. They, on average, they were ninety, which is not extremely low. So, it's not sort of extreme lifestyle in, in terms of risk factors. And of course the question is whether this alone can explain why they have so little uh, calcium in their, in their arteries. Um, what they also say, um, what is interesting is they have a very high burden of infections. So you can see they have high um, inflammatory markers, which normally we say when you have inflammatory disease you have a higher risk of, of, um, of, of, of a cardiovascular disease, but not apparently when it's caused by infections and um, you know, parasites and things that, were, that have very high rates in, in these people. It is a bit thought-provoking that you can, just by lifestyle, not by something that's very costly, not by a lot of medication, you can you can achieve such low rates of calcium. I mean that that is something that we might go for. I mean we could. I'm sure the number of people who come here could be at least halved if we had a lifestyle like uh, like like they do.